the Berlin Brewing Company. It was established in 2014. Today, I am a celebrity judge at a wing cook-off. And today, there is this big event in Berlin, New Jersey, where there are people competing in a cook-off. There are raffle baskets, music, well, one guy singing. Uh, and it's all it's all here at the brewing company, so you get get yourself a beer. So there's only one trophy for the team. So my question is, who gets the trophy? Let's find out. This is the table. I'm a, let me introduce myself. My name is John. Nope, it's a camera. It's a camera. No pressure. I'm one of the judges tonight. Bribes will be accepted. I will let you know I am a big time professional wrestling fan. <laughs> right? I'm also I am also a professional wrestling manager and I got a big show June 25th at the Philomoka. Look at this. Rib World Order. Is that the name of the team? What? What? That, what? You guys make ribs? What? Do you guys make chicken? What? How about shrimp? What? What are we cooking? What? Answer me, damn it! Wings. wings, bro. We got wings. Wings, let's see the wings. What? Are, can we open it? Are we gonna mess up the flavor? That's it. We're just doing wings. That's it. No, no appetizers. What the hell out of your course appetizers. We're doing appetizers? Snacks. Finger food? You're not missing out on the what? I was doing the thing. Dude, you are the most Philly dude I ever heard, and I grew up in fucking Philly. Well, Holy what? shit. So happens to be, they call me the Philly captain. The Philly what? captain, yeah. dude. Yeah. It's all, it almost sounds fake. Can't fake talking this bad. You can't do it. Why would you? Why should... There is only but one trophy, but yet there were two of you. How, what do you guys do? Like, divorce style every other weekend? Wish you ever. Yeah. Okay. He sleeps so it keeps it warm. I hop in, it's still warm. You know? Oh, so you guys sleep together? Oh yeah. Let's go. No, no sheets. sheets. No sheets. So this is what we're doing this for. It is uh, this is called Stand Up Survivor. Uh, they provide life saving services that allow survivors of domestic violence to find freedom. If you want to check out their website, there's a little thing you just scan your TV. When I was a little kid, my aunt was getting abused by her husband. And I remember one time, we, me and my parents, uh, we drove over to our house in the middle of the night uh, to take my aunt and her children away from the abusive husband. And they went, and I think they had to go like live in a convent for a little bit just to get away. It's extremely hard for somebody stuck in an abuse situation to get out and start their own life. This happened to my family and I totally um, support this uh, charity. So if you want to help them out, there's a link in the description. Just looking at this table full of celebrity judges. What a great, what a great time to be alive. Huh? No, no, I like celebrity. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I'm a food critic. Yeah. I'm a food blogger and I cook. Are you really? That's awesome. How did you get recruited? I'm a critic of life, but no. Okay. <laughs> she's a celebrity chef. Okay. Are you really? Yeah, she's on the Food Network. Are you really? Yeah. Twice. That's how I met Frank. What show? Worst Cooks. The second show. <laughs> hey, I remember you. Could you imagine being one of these people who actually know how to cook? And then they got you judging and you don't even know how to make a cake? I'm the best. You, you can know? make a cake now? Yes, I can. Okay. But do you know, most fashion designers are men and they make women clothing, clothing, but they don't wear it. So you don't have to be a consumer of something that you make. That's true. You can just eat yeah, food. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Mm. You call it jelly or gin? Jelly. 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 You call it jam? I'm calling it jam. Yeah. I think that was a jam. Jam is what the Grateful Dead does on stage. Let's go! Here is the raffle basket I donated for the charity. Uh, it's a little spa treatment, a facial scrub, a bubble bath, a candle. But the big prize is a 90-minute float at Relax Float Spa in Doylestown. If you want to try out a float spa, use the code RELAX with the captain, and you can get a discount off your first float. The raffle prizes, there are a bunch of gift cards. Uh, 
$80 value to a gift card. Barbecue food. Let's see. Look how many people tried out for my uh, prize. That's great. That makes me so happy. So, but now, this is it. This is the final moment. We're here. We're going to judge the wings. All the wings were that we're eating. Use the beer at the brewery right next door as flavor. Did they, did they use IPAs? Did they use lagers? Who cares? Let's just eat the wings. All right, guys, so our, our wings were inspired by a recent trip to the Bahamas back in January. Um, we got a hold of this hot sauce. I got here. Just lots of citrus, lots of scotch bonnet peppers. Um, so what we did was a Jamaican kind of um, Jamaican jerk rub with a scotch bonnet and citrus and passion fruit sauce. So there's a lot of fruitiness in there. Um, we used a blood orange uh, cream ale from Berlin. Really brought that orange out. Um, Good combination of flavors there. Hi. Thank you so much. Jamaican me sweat. <laughs> Are you a flat? I go flat, yeah. I like drums. You like drums? I like to eat flats, but to taste, I, I think the drums the better way to go. So odd. So many, wow. so many opinions. Good, right? And then you get that bite at the end. Yeah, it, it's a nice little kick. Not overpowering. It's not, because it's still with you, but it's not that much. Yeah, I'm not dreading tomorrow yet. <laughs> Number two. Wow, they look good. Wow, don't they look good. Oh, well, I just want to make you, sure. I you make went sure. on the best, dude. That's right. Well, yeah, worst, worst book in America. Star, I got you. Yeah. That's my co-star right there. Don't let me eat it. Don't say that. <laughs> Franks and butter and something else for the hot sauce. I can't tell you guys to see. Let's just eat it. You tell me what you think. I have a question about your shorts. How much tearing in the front of your shorts will it be enough for you to give up wearing those shorts? <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother! Shit! Don't you make fun of my wing one! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> That's why these guys are the best! They might not be able to cook, but they put on a good show. Is that a Roman Reigns shirt? Is That's that Roman Reigns? That's The Rock? It's That's the even rock. better. What's well, The Rock from like 10 years ago. <laughs> so this is more soft. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just fighting. All right, right now, which one's winning? The first one or the second one? I said the first one. I said the first one. The first one goes out. This might be winning. The butter, right? It, 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 a lot of butter. Maybe, maybe a little too much butter. Kind of feels like I'm eating crab. Yeah. This is Kimberly from Hi. Worst Cooks. Oh, how are you judging? Because I'm the best. I'm the best of the worst. The best of the worst. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Line. Fresh off the uh, the printer, Philly Captain, here we are t-shirt. Where are we? Here we are. Here we are. And I'll tell you what, this is my favorite shirt of all times. It's comfortable and I'm not just saying that to say. This shirt is extremely comfortable. I love it. I wear it a lot. Check it out. Merchbooth.com. Do it. Uh, a spicy, sweet hot sauce. With, uh, I'm sure you're going to taste the beer that's in there as well. Yeah, no, some, didn't touch. Oh, yeah, it's the orange creamsicle beer in there. Orange creamsicle? Yeah, so we've got a. Uh, you, should, uh, you should taste some citrusy notes in there as well as uh, some smokiness. It's smoky. Got a nice little smoke flavor to it. Um, yeah, better than two, less than one. Exactly. We all agree with that. Wow, see? I like this. <laughs> Probably a two part of Man. That looks like some fine cuisine right there, right? Never get wings like that at Applebee's. I hope you don't go to Applebee's. No, nah, I hate Applebee's, tell you the truth. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Like frozen so food. bland, yeah, right? I'm an Applebee's version. If my wife and I don't been. like something, we, we Applebee, meaning we don't like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> dry rub on it with the, you know, your basic barbecue dry rub, and then I added cilantro, and I added lime zest to it. And uh, the sauce is a Frank's hot sauce based. With uh, also has cilantro and lime juice in it. Look at this wing. Look at this wing. It looks like a work of art. It looks good. Let's see how it eats. If I went to a wing spot 
and I ordered a, a thing of wings and I got these wings, would I be happy mm. if I ordered them at the restaurant? And I'm going to tell you right so, now. One's number one. So. Yeah, uh, for me. Yeah, yeah. The question no. is this better than uh, number two? No. Uh, yeah. No. This, this is better than number three? Mm-mm. This makes better than number three. No, I think this is the first. We're going to make this four. Wow. This is the first one I've yeah, eaten where I said if I ordered this at a wing shop, I would be like kind of disappointed. No offense if you are the guy who made this and you're watching this. But listen, it's a competition. It, it, this is what you asked for. You asked to be judged, and we're judging you. It's not like you're terrible. It's just, you're not the best. Oh, <laughs> right. You're, well, I mean, no, terrible. I would not use as a word. Not terrible. They are good. Yeah, yeah they're good. Yeah. They're good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they are. Wing uh, with a more of a Creole Cajun type sauce. Got a lot of heat to it. So that's why I paired it with a smoked banana pudding with vanilla wafers and a bourbon uh, Dr. Pepper and drizzle. Man, look at this. Look at this wing. That looks so good. Tastes like lighter fluid, right? Didn't it taste like lighter fluid? Listen, don't you don't make me seem like the dickhead when you edit this video. I'm just trying to make this content look good. I'm trying to be like the Simon Cow, but I do taste I do taste barbecue. Fluid. No, no, that's not is it? Is it? I see what he, I yeah. Taste yeah, what right. I don't mind a soggy wet. Wing if it know, tastes good. We know the wings. So I don't we either. Get that. Right? If it tastes good. But if it if it tastes yeah, like yeah, gasoline, still, still I can't I can't wet, you know, like, God I feel horrible. I hate judging. Yeah. And I, I'm not a review guy because I don't like I don't feel good about what I'm saying right now, but yeah. they asked they asked, they asked. Guy looks like a, an assassin. Just getting ready to pack off the competition. Basic rub with salt, pepper, garlic, cumin. Um, paprika, chili, whatever else, like a find in my mom's cabinet. Um, and then so if your mom's making dinner tonight, she ain't gonna have no spices. No, no, no. It used a uh, Weber with a Weber Vortex and uh, fire on the inside, the wings uh, wrapped around. Uh, All right. Uh, thank you guys. Right, now get out of here so we can talk about it. <laughs> they look good, man. These look, this is what I want a wing to look yeah, like. That, that, that's, that's, uh oh. Uh oh. Sometimes a little, a little is good because the last one was a lot and yeah. this one's a little. It's definitely a little. It's a lot of little. a lot of little. Could you eat now if you went this to a spot and you ordered 12 of these, would you be pissed off? No, I wouldn't be pissed off. Yeah. I think over time, it will build up. Like, I'm starting to taste a little flavor now. Yeah. But, so, no risk taken. It's got no kick, but it's simple. It's simple, exactly. right? It's like a clean yeah. 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 It's just got a little bit of buffalo kick. Simple. The nice cooking is still missing a crisp. Is it the top three? Um, I mean, just just because of the lack of mistakes, I think it has to be. So it's not number one? Number no. Two. Oh. No. That's number two for me. Number two for you is not number two for me. It's number three for me. I've never. I, I, is that, is that I'm thank, Thanksgiving stuffed right now. It's a Italian type style wing. Has a. So what do you guys think of this? You guys dig it? Uh, you could you eat twelve of these? No. I could. I could eat twelve, but I, I, I don't think it's. it's I don't think I would order them again. Yeah, no, exactly. I don't think I would like, you know what, this is like, I'm staying here all the time. Yeah, one and done. There's a few that I wouldn't eat. I wanted them to taste good. This one, I would probably finish it. I think it's trying to be a little bit of 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 a Put them into the sauce, put the sauce on the grill, and then we took it from the from there, and we air fried them back into the sauce. 
it's not, a little, something it's not over salty, right? We've had that. And too much, too much goddamn parsley. No. Not a parsley, right? I had parsley on my. Uh, What's the deal? That's present, presentation. Make it look good. Well, here's the thing. Don't put anything on the plate. You can't eat. Obviously, you can eat this, right? Yeah, you know I learned the hard way with that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Rosemary. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you this question. Can you eat this? You're going to put something on the plate. Make sure you can eat it. And just in case you don't know, the person who gets this, they're a winner. Very excited. Second place. The trophy's not as big. And it doesn't say winner. It says nothing. Third place wings. They don't even get a star on their trophy. They just get a cup. For all their tears, Frank, because they're crying. Because they're not in first or second place. Everybody standing here. Very excited. Guy has his ear very He's making a fist at me. That's very nerve-wracking. Thank everybody. Everybody, give yourself a round of applause for coming out here, cooking, throwing down to help raise money for the stand-up survivors. We got Kimberly all the way from Georgia. Let's go, Kimberly! <laughs> Philly captain. Let's go, me. How excited! Food indigenous. I miss that one. Yes. I'm calling every road trip. This guy comes by himself, cooks every time. Never placed, cooked in every one. Never placed. Oh, I know but talking. today, he placed third. His name is Timmy, right. Mr. Mick Cooking. Hey, Timmy. Timmy. Mr. Tim, oh. second place. Not bad for the first time. Hey. And he's had a lot of whiskey. Congratulations. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Bend down. Put the let the guy put the. There you go. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I need a ladder. I was going to give you a boost. And number one, and this year's winner of cooking for a cause, push. Thanks. Should we tell them? Yeah. Until 